He's five and one other otherwise. Exactly, but he is facing very, very tough competition. And honestly, with the exception of Earl Mosley, the man who probably had the best 2016 in the 83 kilogram division. You're talking about Norman Levine, a fine young gentleman. Yes, uh, the, the, the very, very quiet, very to himself. Uh, but he, he absolutely lets it loose when he's inside those ropes and in that ring. Uh, had a bit of a uh, bit of a slide, but his Kubatai record is absolutely impeccable. Uh, he lost in his debut, but went on a four-fight a four fight winning streak uh, that lasted over a year before falling in the quarterfinals to Rigobert de Bloop in 2015. He made it all the way to the grand finals. He had a loss to Yaroslav Chernaya, which was very much a marquee matchup. And he's going to try to put short work oh. on ABB. Kripko drops him and swarms right away. Oh, oh and that's a... Oh, God! Good oh, Lord! Right and he's going for a guillotine. Cal, it's a choke from... I mean, not something we used to see. Hey, it's all about the technique. you got to be able to bury it up. you got to be able to mix it up. You've got to be able to match it up. And that's exactly what he's doing. Wasn't able to get the best of them. Probably should have continued with the knees. But hey, he's in a completely safe position in the 83 kilo division. And this is a fight where he can take some of those risks. He can do what he wants. And it's not going to reflect poorly on him. Because he's going to be in the tournament this year. He's going to be able to continue on perfectly fine. Oh, good Another lord! Big kick! Good lord! Well, he just... He swarmed Krimcock from the very beginning. I think Krimkov didn't know what to make of it. The guillotine, he was, I think, if nothing else, was just trying to surprise his opponent. It's only three minutes in, and ABB Krimkov is in serious, serious trouble, Cal. Oh, unless he's got a rabbit in that cricket mallet maneuver, I don't think he's going to be able to pull off anything at this point. Norman could hold on for the entire rest of the fight, and it wouldn't be any question who would be winning it right now. It's honestly, it's just brutalization, it's improvisation, and quite frankly, I dare say it's almost a little bit of a ground and poundification too. Oh, that's very true, and you actually mentioned a name that I, I think is important to ABG Oh, oh that's it. Down. That's it. Well, I was going to mention Mallet Maduba, who was a training partner, uh, who was a, a training coach. Uh, in South Africa of, of A.B.B. Krimcock, but it didn't do anything there. Norman Levine, a comprehensive victory. Look at that, not a single scratch on him, Cal. Oh, and he's smiling. He's a happy man because he's continuing to show why he is dominant in this division. Wasn't able to take the grand final this year, but who knows? Maybe next year he'll have everything going his way. Uh, he's so, so close. And, and uh, you know, lots of talk about him, and you see the referee, uh, Hyundai Elantra, opting not to keep filming, just had to turn away from the violence, the brutality, and you know, Norman Levine, he, he's, he runs that company that sells hand lotions and moisturizers, and you know, whenever he wins, he treats himself, so I think it's going to rub the lotion on its skin, and uh, Norman Levine is going to enjoy that moisturizing session.